When most people think of electric-powered steam locomotives, they usually think of the small 060 Swiss tank engine with a pantograph on top of its cap, specifically the SPP Class E3-3. The purpose of this is to replace burning coal in the firebox, in case if coal is not available for use in locomotives, so this way the engine can move on its own with its water being boiled by electric heat instead of burning coal. However, what if I told you that there was another, larger and more unknown electric-powered steam locomotive which once roamed the rails in nearby Austria, and in fact, wasn't a steam locomotive at all. So you may be wondering, why is this engine being covered in this series if it only looks like a steam locomotive? Because I thought it was an electric powered steam locomotive too. So because of that fail, this episode of Remarkable Engines is cancelled, and will instead be replaced by... <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to the third Q&A special! Since this video has been delayed to when I reach 2,000 subscribers, thank you for submitting your great questions by the way, we have a large amount of questions to answer, so let's get started. Do you think Condot will ever extend the route past New London? I remember hearing that Shoreline East is supposed to expand to Westerly Rhode Island in the future, but they have to get approval from the Coast Guard first, since that would increase the use on some of the bridges between the two towns. Now my hope with this region is that MBTA is able to meet with Shoreline East at Westerly, and with Mark connecting with SEPTA at Newark Delaware along with Metro North Penn Station access, this will form a perfect link to travel between Boston and Washington DC solely by commuter rail, something which I am willing to try out once this opportunity arrives. What will be the result of Washington DC Metro pulling all of their Kawasaki subway cars? Definitely a sharp reduction in service frequency, since the 7000 series makes up pretty much most of the fleet for that Metro system. Have you ever had any epic fails trying the rail fare? Plenty of times. <laughs> Will this be uploaded on a Wednesday, my dudes? No. Rare, LIRR Bud RDC pulls track leader at Montauk Station. That's referring to a Lionel RDC pulling a track leader in this video taken at the Rare Museum in Long Island in Riverhead. Do you plan on doing the Remarkable Engines episode on Metrolink 519? Just want to make sure so that I don't steal the episode like I did with 800. I actually consider covering 519 during the early days of the channel since it was the only rostered E unit according to RR Picture Archives, but I asked someone on Rare.net about the engine, and they said that it never ran for Metrolink and was owned by Pacific Rail Industries at the time so it was likely stored in that yard. If I'm wrong and if this engine did run for Metrolink, you are more than welcome to do an episode on this engine, but I can't find any evidence of this engine running for Metrolink, and that there are only one or two photos of this engine. Favorite TV show? That would go to Fish Hooks back in the days of the early 2010s. Other TV shows include The Amazing World of Gumball, Spongebob, Ninjago, and more recently Squid Game and Queen Scam. I tend to spend more of my time on the year than writing with TV programs, so I haven't seen too many TV shows. And no, I haven't seen The Office or Friends. Do you like video games? If so, what are your favorite games to play? I was definitely a Mario fan, so some of the games I had were Mario Kart Wii, 7 and 8, New Super Mario Bros Wii, Super Mario Galaxy, Mario and Donkey Kong, Mini Land Mayhem, Super Mario 3D World, as well as the Cars 2 video game on the Wii and DS, and even Cars the video game in Mater National on my extremely old laptop from 2008. But similar to TV, I don't spend as much time on video games anymore, and instead, I spend my time researching numerous aspects about railroads around the world. Although I did get TSW2 a few months ago when Epic Games sold it for free, just to have some experience behind the cap of the locomotive. Favorite type of railroad signal? Since I don't know that much about different types of signals, I'm just going to go up my namesake railroad and say Pensy Position Light Signals. Baba Bowie. Meme! As your channel grows, will you support smaller channels? Depends on the content, but if they're promoting something similar to a topic I mentioned in my video, then I'll make a community post about it. And if other people want to collab with me on projects, I'm more than willing to help. What's your dream job? My current career interest is a field known as industrial design, in which one specializes in the exteriors and interiors of locomotives and rail cars. This is the same job position which famous designers such as Henry Dreyfus and Raymond Lowy had, so I'm pretty much working to be the next Raymond Lowy. But since that job is relatively scarce in terms of specifically the rail industry in the US, and with Cesar Vergara being the only other American rail-based industrial designer, I'll be focusing on mechanical engineering since most of the rolling stock related job offerings focus on mechanical engineering. 
GP38-2 or GP38-3? The GP38-2. Favorite fallen flag other than the PRR? Good question, but I would say it is CNW, due to their branch lines and commuter services up until 8A. Other hobbies? I'm involved with community service projects with my town, and I'm also part of numerous bands in my schools where I play numerous percussion instruments. Do you like my rap battle videos? They're okay. Class 333, EMD E8, or F40PH? I would say the EMD E8. PRR Q2, PRRL1. One stays, the other goes. Keep the Q2 since that's a more unique engine and wheel arrangement. Did you expect your channel to grow as quickly as it did? Not at all. You can thank this video for this Q&A special to happen within this year, but I didn't expect that video to grow that quickly either, especially since my most popular video before that didn't even break 10,000 views. What is your favorite kind of signal? The Pennsylvania Rail Position Light Signals. Favorite engine at Strasburg or Rare Museum of Pennsylvania? For Strasburg, I would say number 90, and for the museum, I would say G5 number 5741. What's the worst condition running locomotive you've seen? I'm not too sure, but some of the ex-Santa Fe units I saw on my trip to California via Amtrak had their paint faded. What is your favorite kind of cheese? Cheddar cheese. Loudest well, train horn. I'm not too sure since that would include numerous occasions from all my experiences with trains where I considered some horns louder than others, so my answer is same with the last Q&A, which would be for New Hope and Ivyland 8218. Which is better to you? SD70 ACE or GEVO? I would go with the GEVO. What locomotive that ran in excursion service do you think deserves more publicity? Norfolk and Western 578. Favorite railroad crossing belt? After watching this video, I would go with the Western Colin Hayes second generation. Opinion on Amtrak 160? An absolutely fantastic heritage unit, with the shades of gray and red fitting perfectly on the Genesis. I find it very interesting that Amtrak chose a little used livery worn by a little used class as their heritage livery for the 1990s. Maybe because Phase 4 is too similar to most of the existing coaches on Amtrak's roster. However, I still prefer Amtrak 108 over this engine, since it's a bit of a reverse heritage unit, in which it's the only Genesis engine painted in the Phase 6 livery. And its red front is very interesting when compared to other Genesis engines. Ahoy, SpongeBob Bebop! I misplaced the post it note containing all of me video ideas for the channel, and now I have no idea what to cover next! Arr, gar, 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 gar. That's my attempt at Mr. Krabs, I'm sorry. Favorite thing to do other than rail fanning. Other than watching memes and studying, I'm also involved in numerous community service projects in my local town, including helping with Eagle Scout projects and performing the piano and cell phone for a few bands, in addition to practicing these instruments in general. How are you able to find interesting info? Wikipedia, a large amount of numerous rail-related websites such as Douglas Self, Streamlined Memories, and American Rails, as well as numerous images of interesting locomotives listed on Pinterest. Would you rather visit the Southwest or Midwest? Definitely the Midwest due to more diverse power and rich rail history. Favorite game? The Super Mario series, specifically Mario Kart Wii. Favorite classes of passenger engines? Some of my favorites include the PRR G5, EMD F40PH, EMD E8, EMD GP7, GWR1400, and basically dual bugs and small steam locomotives used for commuter and mix service. Thoughts on the engine is my PFP, the LBS CRE2. Absolutely overrated. There are too many videos which state why this class was horrible and is only famous due to popular culture, but I am impressed that you were able to find a front facing foe of this engine, as foes of the E2 do seem to be a bit scarce. Which streamlined locomotive is better, LNER A4 or PRR Streamlined Doodlebug? Obvious choice, all reliable 4663. Why are 6 axle Indian passenger trains more successful than 6 axle American passenger trains? I would say it depends on the locomotive, but I can see the American E8s having a smoother ride and more reliability, while most of the Indian diesels and electrics used today are built to last, with many of their alcos still in service to this day. Also, there's a higher demand for 6 axle power in India since their trains are usually longer, more crowded, and therefore heavier, so you would need a strong engine to carry the weight, similar to how 6 axle engines are used in the US to pull heavy freight trains. Is the Belt Railway of Chicago Yard the biggest rail yard in Chicago? I think so, although some of the BNSF yards there are pretty big too. Have you ever played Train and Rail Yard Simulator? I have not, but I do have TSW too. I'm going to the Shadow Realm. It was nice knowing you then. CSX or NS? Tough question, but I would have to go with Norfolk Southern. Favorite short line? New York and Atlantic Railway. Favorite EMD loco? 
the Jeep 838-2. Favorite GE Loco, the Dash 40 BW. Favorite kind of bagel, egg everything with cheddar cheese and bacon. Favorite cartoon, the amazing world of gumball. Which do you like better, audiovisual cables or HDMI? I'm more used to HDMI for my devices, even though I have experience with both, so I would say HDMI. We meet again, brother. How's it going? So, it appears I have a rival. Good to know. I'm doing well at the moment. Thoughts on SP2472 returning the steam earlier this month. It's good to see that we have a certain Pacific steam locomotive back and running, but it's only been out for six years, which isn't too long when compared to other retired steam locomotive excursion stars. Thoughts on SP2479 being purchased by the Niles Canyon Railway. It's good to hear that this engine will be restored by this railway as well, now that they'll have two SP steam engines along with 2472. Thoughts on SP2467 just chilling there. The engine is fine where it is at the California State Rowing Museum, since we already have another member of the same class in operation, that once again being 2472. Why are you still running? Why are you still running? Pennsylvania Rail Streamline Doodle Bug has appeared to be a running joke with my channel, which I will fully embrace because this engine is just that epic. What is your opinion of the then Iowa Pacific Holdings bankruptcy and their equipment being sold off? I'm sad to see this well-known company go under, and I hope that all of their equipment is preserved by other railroads, even though we already lost two LRR C1s at Saratoga North Creek a few months ago. National Railway Equipment or Larry's Trucks and Electric? NRE, since engines which go there have a greater chance of being rebuilt and being featured on this channel. What's the farthest you've been for rail fanning purposes? Although not entirely for rail fanning, the farthest I've been is San Francisco and Anaheim, California, in order to visit San Fran and Disneyland while taking the Cardinal and California Zephyr from New York to California. What's your favorite rail museum slash display? I would say the Rail Museum of PA for its pristine condition its collection is in. Create another meme. Here you go. What is your rarest catch? Within Long Island, which I caught would be LRR 167 arriving at Port Jefferson, since that appears to be the only footage of something rare at the actual Port Jeff station instead of a yard or a nearby crossing, followed by the FRA inspection train which my dad caught due to timing. Outside of Long Island is actually a recent catch of New Haven FL9 2024, about to be delivered from Newark, New Jersey to the Morris Sound and Erie. What's your favorite place to rail fan outside of Long Island? Princeton Junction. What's your opinion on the NS Canadian Pacific SD70 ACU? It's a very interesting rebuild which combines the large body of the SD90 Mac with a new cab of an SD70 ACE. I prefer the CP Rail version of this model since it looks more distinct when compared to other engines on the roster, and numerous heritage and veterans units have been made with this model. What's your favorite Canadian National Heritage Unit? BC Rail 3115. If you could bring back an extinct Union Pacific or BNSF locomotive, what would it be? I don't think there are any extinct BNSF classes which I know of, so for Union Pacific, I would bring back the M10,000. Note. What the dog doing? Favorite steam train. See the announcement video for this Q&A. Thoughts on the Bun Metroliners if they were successful? I think they were a step in the right direction, in which they were the first major development of high-speed rail in the US in the late 60s, but they and other stuff on the Northeast Corridor is just limited by curves. Do you think Amtrak will be running to Montauk on LAWR? I hope so, especially after they held a test train with the LAWR a few months ago, and that they already stated interest a few years ago along with Ronkonkoma for services cities such as Albany, Philadelphia, and DC. What is the best rare museum on Long Island? The Riverhead Rare Museum of Long Island. Who is Joe? The 46th President of the United States. What is your favorite GG1 paint scheme? Brunswick Green. What is your favorite interurban? The Chicago North Shore Railroad. What are your thoughts about Amtrak on Long Island? Yes! I'm hoping to see service from Ronkonkoma and Montauk beyond Penn Station, since I think the current plan is for Amtrak to just run from Penn to Long Island, so it'll definitely increase the opportunities which Amtrak has to offer for the Northeast region. If you were to have a house right next to the tracks of the rail fanning spot, which station or location would you move to? Good question. I would say somewhere just outside of Chicago Union Station due to its proximity to the station and great opportunities to rail fan just about anything every two minutes. If you were to ride in the cab of any locomotive, which would it be? I would have to go with the GP38-2 since it's compact, simple, and I've done it before. Well, at least in TSW2. Do you still use Windows Movie Maker and how do you use translation? 
If not, what do you use? Thankfully, I am no longer using the bare minimum for editing, and I have since acquired DaVinci Resolve, albeit the free version, which has much more bells and whistles when compared to Windows Movie Maker, including transitions, which is one of the reasons why I looked for a new editor. Which railroad is based? Penn Central, New York Central. Which one do you think could have succeeded more into the newer era such as Conrad? Really, any fallen flag railroad. Definitely the New York Central since the legacy of the Vanderbilts was able to last for the past century, and Penn Central was formed as a combination between the New York Central and the Penzi, which was unsuccessful due to their duplicate main lines. Just because my name is PenziFan19 doesn't mean I don't like the New York Central as well. What do you think about Y-Style Tri-Lights? If this is what you mean, then they're very good and iconic for the Baltimore and Ohio. What's your favorite thing about trains? They're very interesting to look at, especially with the intricate movements of steam locomotive side rods. I remember watching rail fanning and model train videos for hours on end just to watch these engines in their natural habitats. Their sounds are also unique even when compared to other locomotives, as well as their vast history behind their railroad and design. What's your opinion on the Siemens Charger, EMD F125, and MPI HSP46 locomotives? So good that they're invading every commuter railroad, more unreliable than the EMD slash passenger diesel, and OK only found in the Boston region, respectively. What's your favorite locomotive? See the Q&A announcement video. What's your opinion on Amtrak's new Phase 6 and Phase 7? I'm surprised that they released two phases within only a few months, although I can kind of see why if people confuse the Phase 6B with for the coaches with Phase 6. I personally like the Phase 6 more, and I'm concerned how the coaches will be adapted in Phase 7 since the back of the charger seems to suggest that the coaches will only be one or two shades of blue, which would be a bit of a downgrade when compared to some of the previous coach liveries. Do you like buses? If so, what is your favorite transit system? I prefer streetcars over their forced replacement, and my favorite transit system is the NYC subway system. Do you think Amtrak should order bi-level cars built by Alstom and Siemens for long distance and inner city trains? I mean, if they're new, then why not? And especially if Amtrak wants to keep a tradition of bi-level equipment on the west coast. Although, I think that trend is starting to decline since Caledot purchased single-level venture coaches, and that bi-level coaches would have to meet ADA requirements and height, weight, and speed restrictions due to possibly being top-heavy. Favorite locomotive? Steam or diesel? Favorite class 1 or 2 railroads? This is all a joke, by the way. Good to know, because I was just about to banish this comment to the Shadow Realm. How do you feel about tourist railroads? There are two opposing arguments with tourist railroads, and I support both of them. On the one hand, they're informing the public of how railroads used to operate, and they're preserving equipment that otherwise would have been scrapped. But on the other hand, society seems to interpret them as a representation of railroads being old-fashioned when compared to other forms of transport such as the car, which overshadows the modern technology and benefits of rail transport. What should Montreal's EXO do with their ALP45s now that the only electrified rail line in Canada commuted bye-bye? I would still think they will be needed for trains going into Montreal Central, since that station will likely not allow diesels in the station, but if they aren't needed, then I remember seeing a video discussing the possibilities for these engines for other commuter roads such as MBTA and Caltrain. Why do you use Discord Light Mode? Are you a madman? Yes, I am. Should NJT restore the South Jersey Rail Network? Yes. Yes. What is your opinion of the KCCP Railroad? Just like Kansas City Southern exists, they've been around since 1887 and they've kept their original livery to this day. If the two railroads have to merge, then please preserve the history of both railroads instead of erasing the history of both. What is your favorite model train brand if you have one? I would say Lionel. What do you think of the BNSF Golden Swoosh? It's a nice touch for a Jeeva which keeps rail fans an eye out for it, kind of like Long Island rail fans looking out for engine 416 due to its MTA meatball sticker. Have you ever heard of Ninja 90? Hint, it's an F59 PHI. I would assume you're referring to Metro 90, since it changed paint schemes three times throughout its service from Cascades to Metro Surfliner to CNW Heritage Unit within two years. Have you ever been to the Illinois Railway Museum? Yes, I have back in 2015, and that place is my favorite railway museum due to its incredibly diverse collection. CNW or Milwaukee Road? I would say CNW for its branch line and well-known commuter services and for being the host of another streamlined doodlebug, specifically number 9915. Have you ever lived outside of New York or the NEC? No, I have not. If you could bring back one Amtrak line that was discontinued, which one? That's a very tough question, but I would say the National Limited since it's connecting New York directly with St. Louis. 
And most important, apple cider or pumpkin pie? Apple cider all the way. What is your least favorite old style train like locomotives and coaches? The LBSCR E2. Oh, don't boo me. These engines were unreliable, and I won't defend them because Thomas was based on them. I'm gonna lose half my subscribers for that statement, aren't I? Okay, fine. The Southern Bully Leaders class. Which one do you prefer? AEM7 or F40PH? The F40PH. What is your favorite equipment made by Siemens? The Venture Coaches. How will you rank CEM cab cars by Manufacturer Railroad, Hyundai Rotom, Bombardier, or CRRC? For most to least favorite, I would say Bombardier, Hyundai Rotom, CRRC for Manufacturer, and my top 5 for Bombardier Railroads in no particular order are Sunrail, Ace Train, Coaster, Go Transit, and Metrolink. AM7 or GG1? The GG1. Could Amtrak have another corridor like the Northeast Corridor? Depending on how much that corridor is used, most likely. Not counting the state-funded corridors such as California, the Cascades, and the Midwest Hub, another corridor service I can see Amtrak running is the Georgia or Southeastern region in cities such as Atlanta and Charlotte. You forgot to. Favorite short line and regional railroads. In that case, my favorite regional Class 2 railroad is Montana Rail Link, and short line, not counting MIAR, would be Escanaba and Lake Superior. What made you start doing YouTube? Well, I had a large surplus of rail fanning footage over the past few years, which was inspired by the rail fanning channels I viewed over the years. Then the coup shut down everything, and I figured that I always wanted to start some sort of YouTube channel, so I started a few months after I created an account on Rail.net. Hello there. Name a CNJ excursion star. I'm staying because I'm making a series on it. CNJ774. Do you play trains, and if so, which? And you go a and you got any KNL products on it? No, no, and TSW2 is not trains. New York Central, Ghosts of the Rails. Great song from a great series. How would you rate my channel? Pretty good. When will the AOC42 go into testing? And what is your favorite MBTA locomotive? They already have, and my favorite locomotive would have to be the F40PH-3. It's good to see these legends of the rails being rebuilt by numerous commuter roads instead of being turned into garden hoses. What's your general opinion of Thomas the Tank Engine? As much as it annoys us rail fans when non-rail fans ask if we like this blue tank engine, it's still the same tank engine which got us interested in trains in the first place, and it's important to have more members with an interest in trains so that the industry can continue to thrive. And as for the show itself? I've been an active observer of the community for a few years and saw numerous well-made fan creations until Big World Big Adventures. All I can say now is that I'm so glad I grew up with this, and not this. If time, resources, and money weren't a factor and you could bring back one extinct class of American scene locomotive, what would it be and why? Even though I have seen a wide variety of little-known and wordy American scene locomotives, I would answer the Reading Railroad Class G3 Pacific for this question since they were the common engine for the Reading's non-electric commuter and inner-city services, and I've seen them more often than the T1s in historical footage. Do you think it's theoretically possible that Union Pacific, BNSF, and other roads could restart their own passenger services to either compete or replace Amtrak? BNSF already does! Or at least they kind of do by owning the Metro BNSF line, Metrolink, North Star, Sounder, Redlands Connector, and the proposed Northern Lights Express. Another reason as to why they're my favorite class one. Theoretically, they are private companies and can propose such services, since Brightline is also owned by Florida East Coast, but I'm not sure if freight railroads nowadays will be interested in running pasture operations, since it's another branch of operations which they would have to consider on top of their already large freight network, and the assumption that pasture rail isn't profitable. I can see the reasoning for this, but that depends on the corridor, with many lines in the Midwest being profitable once rail service is introduced there. That, and they can always bring back mixed trains. Did you hear that the American English dub of the first Tugs episode was leaked online as of October 18, 2021? I saw the episode, and it sounds interesting, as I am looking into watching the Tugs series whenever I have free time, since Young Bucky Tug recently made a video about the series. What is your opinion on the Amtrak Michigan line? Which one? They should increase speeds up to 125 miles per hour, and they should run service from Detroit to Mackinac City, and finally, do the original Pierre Marquette justice by extending the present-day Pierre Marquette from Grand Rapids to Detroit. Have you heard of the high-speed rail lines? If so, what's your thoughts about them? They're a good organization which informs the public of pasture rail programs, and I receive email updates from them. Model train collection vid? 
I'm thinking about possibly uploading that, but I'm not sure when or how. What do your parents think of your YouTube channel? They're very impressed that I was able to grow this quickly and that I'm able to form a good community online. Are you interested in filming freight trains? I already have, but I am looking at traveling to Boundbrook, New Jersey sometime in the future, since that's a pretty active rail fitting spot close to New York City. What is your favorite type of train? Passenger. Have you ever seen the movie Unstoppable? I have, and it's nice to see that they're using relatively accurate locomotives, even if the routes themselves are fictional. What are your thoughts on both the Cumbria's and Toltec and the Rango and Silverton Railroads converting some of their operating steamers from coal burners to oil burners? I mean, if it's necessary in order to reduce the reliance on coal, then I don't see why not. It's better to have an oil-fired locomotive than not having it run at all. Of the two steamers that operated on the San Luis and Rio Grande, do you prefer SB1744 or LSNI-18? LSNI-18 since there's footage of that engine pulling revenue freight for that railroad. What is your personal favorite steam tourist railroad line? The Strasbourg Railroad. Do you think that Union Pacific should at least give now retired Challenger 3985 a cosmetic restoration? I guess that would involve using 4014's tender, since 4014 is currently using 3985's actual tender, but I don't see why not. What are your thoughts on BR60009's permanent retirement from excursion service in the UK? I'm sad to hear this relatively sudden occurrence for me, since I have been keeping up with British steam preservation news, but the LNER A4s aren't that rare when compared to other British steam locomotive classes, and we still have Bittern and Sir Nigel Gresley in operating service, with the latter of the two currently under restoration. How did you become a fan of the PRR? Easy. The Long Island Railroad, my local railroad, was a subsidiary of the Pensy, and a lot of LAWR heritage reflects the Pennsylvania Railroad because of it, so I couldn't help but choose the railroad who gave us a Broadway Limited and the GG1 as my favorite farm flag and my channel name. Do you have model trains? If so, which scale? I have some HO gauge, but most of my models are O gauge. Pennsylvania or Penn Central? Pennsylvania. Siemens SC44 or EMD F125? Siemens SC44. Have you heard of the famous or infamous Southern Pacific Santa Fe merger? What rail fan has it? It was one of the first points included in the American Railroad Iceberg, which I explained with Seaboard Rail Fan. Which is your favorite Fairbanks Morse locomotive? The FMC Liner. Do you like school buses? I usually take them most of the time when coming home from school since I do not prefer driving, but I don't study them the same way I do for trains. What is your favorite heritage and special interest unit? LIRR 404. Actual heritage unit is PRR 4636, and special interest would be CSX 911. What are your favorite sports teams? For the sports mentioned, baseball is the Yankees, football is the Giants, hockey is the Rangers, and basketball is the Knicks. Sorry if I have a different favorite sports team than you. What are your thoughts on the LAWR H10s 280? Very underrated steam locomotives since they were just as common on Long Island as the G5s. Do you think or hope that the LAWR will keep the K5LLs on some of their new chargers? If they sound similar to the horns on the existing DEDM30s, then that will be a nice touch. What mods do you think could be made to the DE-DM30AC to make them more reliable? One of the most common problems I've heard is that the third rail shoe for the DMs don't always work, so I would say perfect the conversion process from diesel to electric mode. I'm not too experienced on all the mechanical operations of the class, but I would recommend inspecting or replacing the prime mover, which I believe is already being done for some engines. What do you think would happen if the LAR became a private railroad again? I'm not really sure in the case of the LAR since they're very well off in terms of government funding from NY State. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? That will be 24 miles per hour. What is your favorite British railroad? The Great Western Railway. What the f is a Sonic? Something that is not Mario, and therefore not interested in. Do you like Pokemon? And if you do, then what is your favorite Pokemon? I'm aware of the series, but I do not have a favorite Pokemon. What is your favorite Steam Locomotive Wheel Arranger? I am a simple man who appreciates branch line services and mixed trains. So with that in mind, might as well choose a wheel arrangement which saw many services just like this the 46010 wheeler. A close second will be the 462 Pacific due to its versatility. What is your favorite rare museum and locomotives from that museum? I would say the Illinois Railway Museum, and favorite engine based there would be Burlington Route E5 number 9911. Have you watched the Mandela Catalog or any other analog horror series? No, I have not. Thoughts on the T1 Trust? I'd love to see a new build T1, and I'm indifferent to their attempt at breaking Mallard's speed record. If they want to do that, they can either test run on the Northeast Corridor, 
or the TTCI in Pueblo. If this attempt is successful, I can definitely see international headlines about the event and could possibly bring an interest back to the realm street. Have you ever seen other steam locomotives besides Strasbourg? I remember seeing a few while visiting the Illinois Railway Museum, New Hope Nyvedland, Essex Valley Railroad, Main Narrow Gauge Road, Whitney Railway Museum, and Disney World Railroad. Do you have model trains? Plenty of them. Any opinion on all engines go? But if you close your eyes... Ayo, ayo. Can you make a series about steam locomotives that have the same number? That may be a little bit more difficult to do than four fours of the world, since not every steam locomotive is listed on our picture archives, and as shown with remarkable engine UP844, famous numbers for steam locomotives are more likely to be found on diesels. Which surviving PRR slash LRG5 do you prefer? I would say LRR35 since it seems to be restored at a quicker pace and it will be on Long Island. Favorite Canadian steam locomotive? The Canadian Pacific Class F2. Who was in Paris? I don't know who was, but Renfe will be soon. What is your social security number? As of when I made this, it's 253904. What is your credit card number and the three funny numbers on the back? 4 slash 04. Any last words before I find you? No need. I don't have a location because I am not human. I am the channel. What's a steam locomotive you want to see in the future? I've been to Eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey somewhat often lately, so probably reading in Northern 425 since that road isn't too far away. What is your favorite video game? The Super Mario series. Do you play any train simulator games? TSW2. Favorite food? Egg Everything Bagel. What is your opinion on other rail games? They're pretty good for the most part. E. What is your favorite railroad? See the announcement video for this Q&A. What is your favorite video game? The Super Mario series. Do you play any train simulator games? Train Sim World 2. Opinion on Mark still rostering HHP8s. Great to see that these engines were refurbished instead of stored like their Amtrak counterparts. Caltrain AEM7. Yes! Why have you been railfitting in the NYCT so much recently? It's a compilation of footage I took from two visits to my cousin's college in the Bronx. Do you watch any TV shows? My most recent TV show was Squid Game, but other than that, not too recently. Opinion on furries? I mean, I understand why some people may find them strange, since it's people in giant fursuits, but I'm neutral towards them. I don't have any strong opinions for or against them. MBTA Green Line A Branch or Bus Replacement? A Branch all the way. I will always choose light rail over bus transit any day. What do you think of Bart's C2s? They were identical to the C1, but I'm sad to hear that none of them were preserved. What's your favorite TA rolling stock? What's a TA? And I assume if you mean New York MTA, then I would say the LAWR GP38-2. M1 slash A, M3 slash A, M7 slash A, or M9 slash A. The M9 slash A. M2, M4, M6, or M8. The M2. Now I saved the biggest three channels for last, so I'll be introducing them individually. Super Baddie 4 asked, What is your favorite model of Shinkansen? The E4 series. If you could go there, would you ever consider rail fanning in Jack London Square in Oakland, California? I actually have before. It's where I got this image for the follow-up news section for the Pensy Fan Periodical. While waiting for the Coast Starlight from Oakland to Los Angeles, the Capitol Corridor pulled in with a then-new SC-44 trailing and testing, as I just managed to get a side of the locomotive while it was still taking on passengers. What are some of the most overrated trains of all time in your opinion? The LBSCR E2. Are you disappointed that Waluigi never made it to playable in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? I wrote a little something to describe how I feel about this. I do not know who this character is, but I'm sad that it's not Waluigi. Winnipeg Railfan asked, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe. What has been your favorite episode of Remarkable Engines to create so far? Definitely ELS 600, since that was the first episode made on DaVinci Resolve, and the story of this F unit is very unique when compared to some of the other engines I covered. You play any video games, and so, what are a couple of your personal faves? See your response for a Genesis engine. Do you have any plans to do some rail fanning in Canada land? The last time I was in Canada was in 2018 when I went to Camp Novello Island, which is shared American and Canadian territory, and before that was in 2013 when I stayed in Niagara Falls and took GO Transit to Toronto for a day. But as of now, we don't have any current plans to rail fan in Canada yet. 
I can't think of anything funny to ask, so I'll say this. Baba Bowie. And last but not least, Thunderbolt 1000 Siren Productions asks, Out of all the tourist railroads you've visited, which is your favorite? I would say the Illinois Railway Museum for its vast collection. Are there any rail fence spots or railroads that you would want to visit in the future? Some plans include Bound Brook, New Jersey, the Black River and Western Railroad, Reading and Northern, maybe the New Hope and Ivyland again, and basically any railroad museum closest to wherever I'm on vacation. Favorite movie? Cars 3. Of course, I've seen countless other great movies such as Avengers Endgame and In the Heights, but many of them I can't think of at the moment since I usually watch one often. But yes, Unstoppable is in there. And on that note, we have finally reached the end of this Q&A special. 18 pages and 5 and a half hours of writing later. Thank you all for your questions and for your support for this channel. Considering that this is the third Q&A special in one year, and that other channels usually have one Q&A per year at most, I'm considering a similar route for these videos since, as great as they are to make, they do take a long amount of time to monitor and edit. With that said, I'm planning on announcing Q&A specials once a year on May 19th, so this way they aren't as frequent as an unstable subscriber rate. And until then, thank you for watching and stay tuned for much more content in store for this channel. Have a good day.